Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another special episode of The Bear Cave. I am that V-O-I-C-E, and with me, I can't believe the words are going to come out of my mouth, but Alan Angels and Brooke Havoc. Now, we can get past the whole wow and get straight to it. Brooke, you debuted here tonight to talk about what your plans were, and Hellman Rosecrown came out and interrupted you and called you a bimbo, called you names, which made you come out during his tag team match and beat the living hell out of him. What are your guys' plans here in Pandemonium? Well, uh, you look very good. Did you know purple is your color? Purple is a great color, first of all. Yes. Uh, this is the Bear Cave. Wow. Yeah. Heard a lot about this place. Uh, where are the bears? There's bears around or yeah I don't, I don't see any bears there's no bears so this okay well either way um no what's his name hell uh hellman rosen rosen d's nuts in his mouth whatever it doesn't really matter what his name is um you know he seemed like he just wanted to make some noise or whatever and i i, I can respect that sure but here's the deal when you when you do what he did that's I mean, that's just something that you, that you don't do. And I don't respect that. I don't respect him getting in my girl's face. And I think she liked it even less. You can ask her. He made those excuses that I was still injured. I'm not cleared yet. So I brought somebody that isn't injured. And I mean, you, Oscar, saw exactly what happened. They all saw exactly what happened. So... And, you know, Hellman Rosecrown for weeks have been saying to me personally and, and even DMing me that I have been warned, you have been warned, telling the people at home that they have been warned. I don't know if this is what he's been warning everybody about, but doesn't it scare you that he could have some uh, tricks up his sleeve his, by himself? Uh, Let me ask you, are you a fan of Eminem, like, Eminem, the rapper. No. Somewhat, you know, whatever. It's all, all good, all good. Um, basically, Eminem was dissed by another rapper named MGK. Now, after he got dissed, he re released another diss track on MGK. And after that, MGK stopped rapping. He went to a whole different genre. He makes emo music now, which is fine. Big fan. But that's kind of what this is like, okay? See, I'm just on a different level. And if he wanted to make some noise and he wanted to anger Eminem, I'm just going to have to make him switch to a different, different genre, if you will. Now, what, what I do and what he does, two completely different things. Let me list all the people that I've wrestled in the last six months. Brian Danielson, Kenny Omega, Alex Shelley, Frankie Kazarian, the Young Bucks, Red Dragon, it goes on and on and on and on. We're not the same. Okay, and camera, I want you to get really close. I want you to zoom in because I need you to understand, Hellman, that what you did tonight is inexcusable. Okay? What you did tonight is inexcusable. And I'm, I'm perfectly satisfied with the outcome of tonight. Okay, I dropped you on your head on that chair. And if it ends right there, I'm perfectly fine with that. But if you want to retaliate and you want to do something else, <laughs> Hellman, it's going, to get, it's going to get violent, okay? It's going to get ugly. It's going to get... <laughs> it's going to get ugly. Well, th thank you guys so much for joining me, and thank you to everybody watching. Until next time.